Hey everyone, it's Stephanie from Scrap and Create and we are working on page three, page three. Okay, you're gonna start by uh, cutting out two uh, flaps. They're going to be five and a quarter by eight. Five and a quarter by eight, you're gonna score a half inch on the five and a quarter inch side. And then we're also going to have a two and a half, two and a half by nine inch belly band which we're actually gonna put a bead of glue down the center, so it's gonna be a very shallow pocket. On uh, So two and a half by nine, five and a quarter by eight. Square half inch. This one, you're gonna square a half inch on the nine inch side. Okay, so this is gonna be slightly uh, inset from the edge of the pocket page. So I use some temporary tape to join these two pieces, and I'm going to locate that center with the tick mark here and then remove my tape. There's a dozen different ways you could do this. You could mark a half inch in from either side and that's roughly what it's gonna be, a half inch. Yeah, and I think that's gonna be a little bit too small. So I'm going to lay this down. Now we need to do the other side. Okay, now we're going to add some decorative strips. And I think I'm gonna use this, but I wanna see what it looks like first. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So these are um, cut strips from the 12 by 12, and this one's a little bit too big. Be a little bit smaller and it says forever and always forever and always so they're going to get installed like that and again we're on page three we can take off well i'll leave that on there for a moment but again that was just temporary tape Sorry about that, I'll let my trash can get too far away. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do I'll save this because I can use it in my die cut machine when I'm taping down my uh, dies. Okay. So I put a tick mark here indicating the center and the center line here. So I'm going to line those up. Two and a half by nine. Now before we cross this over and lay it down, the other side. I'm going to run a bead of glue right here on my line, which is the center line. And you don't have to go end to end. Basically, what you're trying to prevent is a complete pass through. So I'm going to stop about there because I want to make sure I don't interfere with my hinge.
there we go. That's it. Now I'll be, I put it thin, as thin as I could get it because once you press on it, it's going to spread a little bit anyway, right? Okay, this is what I've chosen for this. But before we put this in, we are going, actually, it looks like it's too narrow. I might have to cut that down a little bit or get a piece that's a little bit wider. We need to add our magnets. Yeah. They're going to be attached to this belly band. That's important because if you try to attach a magnet here and then you put a bunch of stuff in a pocket, it's too hard for the magnet to stay. For the, the strength of the magnet is, um, compromised by the number of sheets that you put between the magnets. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Ouch, make sure that's just one magnet. chosen this red to line the pockets and this is from the 8x8 collection pack and that's upside down <laughs> there's right side up been so long since I've done a graphic album. Uh, and I think I'm going to do another at the Stamperia after this, but I'm not sure now. I've got some new collections coming in uh, from Chow Bella, and wow, are they pretty. I'm kind of anxious to get started on those. Now, these are cards that I made for the insert. It's going to go like that. And there's one for this side. Okay, so that becomes the inside. I need to recut this. I am ready to go ahead and cover these. We're gonna use these light colors. 12 by 12. The red is eight by eight. These are 12 by 12, and these are 12 by 12. I should dry fit it first. Looks good. And this needs a little bit off of this. Try that one more time. Much better. So I got a comment from one of the viewers. The name escapes me at the moment. I can't remember if it was on YouTube or Facebook. It might have been on Facebook um, about um, liking all my preferring albums that have all unique pages instead of um, where I've repeated the mechanical design but changed the paper out in some of my albums where I do one, two, three, four, and then four, three, two, one in terms of the the mechanisms. So this is going to have unique, all unique pages. 
So um, as I've mentioned before, um, if you guys leave uh, comments or preferences, we'll do our best to incorporate those uh, into projects. We want to, we want you to be engaged and uh, we want to deliver what you guys are interested in. So you got to let us know. Oh, I need to clean that off real quick before, before it stays on there. Just a little wet wipe and that's all it takes if you do it right away. This one I missed, so it's going to take a little more effort. Okay, let's go ahead and do the covers. Okay, now this looks a little boring, so we are going, ooh, you know what? No, that's right, they're slightly off. I'm a little surprised. I thought I cut it in half, but. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add this here, and this is just gonna be glued down on one half of the side, and this is page three, so I'm gonna have it open away from the spine. Okay, this is our last section, so we need to put a piece in there. It needs to be two and a half by eight. Or seven and seven eighths. I do. Oh, I did that again. I did it again. Look at that. Twice. Both of these are too small. And did I get the measurement wrong? Let me check. I thought it was two and a half. Maybe it's bigger than that. 
Uh, yes, it is. It's two and five eighths. That's why I keep getting it wrong. Two and five eighths. For you, just do it two and a half. Um, it, I could have done two and a half. I don't know why I didn't trim it to the exact size, but I didn't. And now I just made these strips. They're all too small. I'm sure I've got something here I can use. Um, I might have to go to my 12 by 12s. Here we go. I'll use the strip of this. Um, let's double check so I don't do the same thing over and over again. Two and five eighths. Third time's charm. Sorry. <laughs> Nola thinks she's responsible for the whole neighborhood. Shh. Hey, shh. that's enough. Baby, that's enough. Shh. She's very talkative. Let's see if that looks good. Okay, so I said this was the last thing, but I am gonna go ahead and find something to cover this. And I could probably use some of these <laughs> that I've already messed up. So I'm just going to trim this down to size. a little height and we'll be done. This might be too small to do in my trimmer. Yep, it's not gonna, it's torqued, so I've got a crooked line here, so I'm just gonna use straight edge, trim that, and then we'll be done with page three. Now I've left the inside of these cards partially blank because uh, I it's only page three and I just want to make sure I don't run out of paper and then I'll come back and do something with that if I've got enough. husband in the yard but doesn't know it's him. Mm, I think it's going to fit better the other way. I don't know why but let's do it. Yep. Because it's not perfect but it's pretty darn close. Beautiful. Look at that. I love it. This is page three. Looks lovely and it looks really nice sitting next to page two because it's a, a two page spread. So I pulled this pattern back into page two. So page three, build three. See you guys soon.